Hi everybody, Joey here again and welcome back. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to build a trickle tower sump the cheapest and easiest way possible. Now let's start off with supplies and then move into the build, followed by how and why this works. As a fish keeper, a lot of us have buckets on hand. If not, they're cheap anyways, maybe around $5 at a hardware store for the ones like I have. You're going to need two buckets. You'll also need some plastic pot scrubbies, and you can get six of these for a dollar at a local dollar store. We need around 90 of these, so about $15 in pot scrubbies total. As for the actual sump, the size will depend on the tank you're filtering, but something as cheap as a Rubbermaid tote is fine. After all, a sump is just something that holds water. Typically, 15 to 20 gallons in size will cost you around $10. In this example though, I'm using a spare aquarium in my head, so for the purpose of this video, you can see into the sump and how it works. So in total, the entire filter, as well as the media, will cost you about $35. And this is a great price, seeing as how this is sized for larger aquariums. To build this filter is really simple. You want to start off by cutting the bottom four inches of one of the buckets off, and this will become your drip plate. Then drill a bunch of holes into the bottom of the drip plate you created. How many holes and what size will depend entirely on the flow of water you put through it, so I suggest starting off with many smaller holes and slowly increasing their size after you've tested with water. Your aim is to have a consistent and even water flow through all of them. The third step is to take the remaining portion of the bucket and cut the top off so that only about six inches of the bucket remain. Then drill large holes in one of the ends. The fourth step is to drill a bunch of holes into the second bucket. Drill as many as you can and as large as you can. Just keep the holes smaller than the media you plan to put in it so they don't fall out. This will act as your base. Now we can put it all together. Starting with the base you created, place that into your sump with the holes facing down. Take your full bucket and place that inside the base. If you place the base the right side up, the top will fit snugly around the bottom of the bucket and hold it up, suspending that bucket around 6 inches from the bottom of the sump. Then fill the bucket up with pot scrubbies. Now I use plastic bio balls in this example, however, plastic pot scrubbies are a lot cheaper and do the same thing. They're both plastic, both allow a lot of water through them and don't clog easily, but pot scrubbies actually have a much higher surface area allowing for a larger bio load. Finally, place your drip plate on top. So how does this all work? As water flows from your aquarium and enters the drip tray, it would first be mechanically filtered with something like cheap polyester filling, and then water evenly rains over the pot scrubbies where the bacteria live. Now this method of filtration provides an oxygen rich environment for your bacteria. Water then exits at the bottom. Now because the bucket remains elevated, the bottom support is the only thing that remains covered in water. So now it's more obvious why it's called a trickle tower. Now this is actually one of my personal favorite methods of filtration and I've been using it for years now. In fact, here's one that I built about seven years ago. There's still a lot of questions you might have though and we can't answer every possible question in every video like how to size this for your aquarium, how to plumb your aquarium and build an overflow, what type of flow rate do you need, how to size a sump to your aquarium, which sump or even method of filtration is right for you. When it comes to filtration, the topics are endless. However, I have a playlist on my channel all about filtration that will walk you through a lot of these questions. But I also have a really big book with a full chapter on filtration that you might want to consider getting as well. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I also wanted to thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next week for a new project.